Okay, so for today's game, we are deep within the forests of the old world, somewhere on the border of Averland and Reichland, or Averland and Stirland. Haven't decided which yet. We have an Imperial patrol making their way to a fortified city, sorry, a fortified village deep within the forests, and they are ambushed by a ravening horde of beastmen. So for this, we're doing a slightly um, homebrew scenario. Uh, the Empire has the center table road as their deployment. Uh, they are deployed in a column. Uh, at the start of the first turn, they will get a free reform uh, before either player gets to go, and we'll roll to see who goes first. For the State Patrol of Averland, we have a captain lead, uh, leading the company. Uh, he has full plate, sword of Sigismund, and a handgun, apparently. Um, uh, we have a second captain. He's the battle standard bearer. He has the imperial banner, heavy armor, handgun, and his hand weapon. And then our Thor hero, we have a warrior priest of Sigmar with heavy armor, the holy relic, and two hand weapons. Maybe I should keep them centered in the frame. There we go. Uh, for core, we have a spearman unit with 30 uh, spearmen, a musician, a standard, and a sergeant, and a swordsman detachment. Ignore the command in there. They're obviously they won't have command. They're just there for coolness. Uh, a second corps of twenty halberdiers with full command and a ten-strong handgunner attachment. A third regiment of halberdiers, full command with a ten-strong archer detachment, and fifteen handgunners in their own regiment. For special units, we have five outriders, musician, champion, and the Hawkland grenade launcher. And then two great cannons. And that will be today's Empire Force. Ambushing the Imperial Patrol, we have the forces of the Beastmen, led today by a Bray Shaman, uh, upgraded to a level 2 wizard. We also have the Wargore with a great weapon, heavy armor, the battle standard bearer, and upgraded with gouge tusks. In core, we have three units of Gores, each with 25 Gores, a foe render, a musician, and two of them with shields. And the third option with an additional hand weapon. Uh, also in core, we have 10 Ungor Raiders and 14 Chaos Warhounds upgraded with poison attacks and scaly skin. In specials, we have a Bestigor Herd with a Musician, Standard Bearer, the Banner of Outrage, and a Gouge Horn, and 25 Bestigors. And then a, a Razor Gore Chariot, I think it is. And that will be today's Beastmen Herd. So, for the Empire, we have in the rear, taking it up, is the Handgunners. Uh, followed by the Spearmen and their Sword Detachment. The Halberdiers and their Archer Detachment. Both Cannons. The other Halberdiers and their uh, Handgunner Detachment. And the Outriders. Uh, Beastmen, they have their uh, Warhounds all over there. With the Chariot as well. And then on this flank, we have one of the units of Gores, the Ungore Raiders, another unit of Gore, uh, sorry, that's the best of Gores, that unit of Gores, and then they haven't deployed yet, because I forgot. So they'll probably deploy on the other side of the table, and we'll be back after that. All right, so because I forgot to deploy them before I started filming, uh, I elected to let my wife choose where to put them, and she decided to bury them deep in a forest. So they'll yeah. probably be hurting to get out. Yeah. Uh, and then I forgot to mention my um, shaman there is in that forest edge. Uh, shaman has two spells. They are going to be, I rolled for them, uh, they're going to be Vile Tide, and I changed the other one out for Bestial Surge. All right, we'll roll to see who goes first and be right back with that. Okay, we're going to roll to see who goes first. You do. I guess we'll take the first turn. So I'll let Bree get her uh, free reforms and we'll go from there. Okay, turn one, Beastmen. Uh, movement step to clear charges. I'm going to attempt to declare a charge. I'm going to declare a charge uh, with my Warhounds into both Spearmen and Swordsmen. Okay. Because I don't think I can just charge them with the way that tree is blocking my movement. So mm -hmm. uh, that's that. And then I don't really have any other because they're stuck in the tree line. They can't move fast. I mean, the charge is 10, so they can only move 5 mm -hmm. uh, if they fail. And then don't think they'd be in range. They're definitely not in range. The chariot's not in range. Okay, so uh, we'll move my charges and we'll be back with our remaining moves. Or after our remaining moves to recap. 
Okay, movement is complete. So the chargers were able to contact both units there as declared. Uh, they wouldn't have been able to only charge the one just because of the terrain. That's all good. Stops them from countercharging and holding them in place while I move the rest of my army. That beastman herd uh, advanced as far as they could in the tree line. Uh, the chariot trundled down the hillway and uh, got to there. They attempted to march, uh, only used a bit of their march and some wheeling. The Ungor Raiders moved out of the tree line here, took up positions on the cliff. The Bestigors trundled forward, as did this Gore herd, and the Shaman moved up through the trees. So we'll be back with magic. All right, so for my first magic phase, I'm going to have uh, the Bray Shaman attempt to cast Bile Tide. Mm -hmm. I have three dice available, two for the base, plus one for my wizard levels. Uh, and I'm going to target the Handgunner Detachment here. Okay. Uh, Bile Tide is a 7 plus um, magic missile with a range of 24 inches, and the target will take 5d6 strength 1 hits. All right, so I just had to double check how uh, magic works because it's been a little while, so I just roll the two, the three dice I want. So I get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it goes off, no miscast, no irresistible force. Uh, with a score of 11, you can attempt to dispel with your two dice. You'd have to roll two sixes. Okay. No. Not quite. Okay. So it was, uh, what was it? 5d6, 4d6, strength one hits? I think so. It is 5d6, strength one hits. So I'll just roll these five. Six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now I need 20 dice. <laughs> I am in danger. Oh, well, they're only strike one. Okay. 10. I'll roll 10 twice. It'll be easier. And then toughness on your dudes, I believe, is toughness 3. I think so. Do, do, do. I should have had this chart pulled up already. Strength one to toughness three is sixes to wound. All right, so I'm gonna roll ten twice because I got twenty hits. Uh, so sixes to wound. One. Two. So two wounds on your handgunners, and they I believe have light armor if I remember correctly. So sixes to save. Okay. Neither so save. Two handgunners dead. All right. And that, yeah. Does yeah, take take the, the group of two. Oh, I thought it was a group of three, sorry. No. Uh, and that will be my magic phase, so we'll be back with some combat. Alright, almost forgot to do my shooting. Uh, so my Ungor Raiders here that have come up to the ridge, six have line of sight right now to your uh, hand gunner detachment. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lose some arrows. I'm moving, and my so I'll be hitting you on a five. So I'll get four hits. And then these are strength three, I believe, for short bows to toughness three for your human. So wounding you on force. So two wounds. And then do handgunners have any armor stats listed in their entry? It'll be in their weapon and equipment stuff. Mm. Light armor? No, handgun and hand weapon. No light armor at all? No it? light okay, armor. Okay, so just two like. dead then. Okay. All right, so that's my shooting phase. Onto the combat. I have a charging unit here. They've charged into your spearmen and your swordsmen. So one of the doggies is going to attack your uh, swordsman. Mm -hmm. That'll be the one in gray. The other four in the front rank will attack the spears. Mm -hmm. uh, so you spear. I'll be hitting your spearmen on a four. Or sorry, I'll be hitting your spearmen on a three and your swordsman on a four. So I'll get two hits on the spearmen, one hit on the swordsman. That six automatically wounds because of poison attacks. Yep. And then these are wounding on fours. So just the one spearman on a six plus. Because they just have light armor. No. Right, I kill a spearman. Okay. Then you get to fight back. All right. So you've got uh, two swordsmen that can fight. Might as well do them first. Sure. Uh, they'll be hitting me on a four, because my wallet skill is the same. One okay, hit. One hit. And then your strength will probably be a three. My toughness is a three. It'll be wounding on a four. Okay. Wound. Wound? Okay, so one wound from the spear or the swordsman. Mm -hmm. And then, so I've killed, oh, I forgot your warrior priest is in here. So we'll do her separately after. Uh, so I killed one spearman. So then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that can fight back. So seven dice, because okay. the spearmen fight in double ranks. Yep. Okay. 
Sorry, nine, because you're I miscounted. <laughs> Alright, nine. Hitting me on a three weapon skill against my four weapon skill. Is a four as well to hit. So three. two, three. Okay, so then those go to wound on a four plus. Four wounds, okay. So I'll save these real quick. Three wounds, honey. With the spirit of those. Oh, correct. Yep, sorry. Uh, so I lose four horses. And then we'll be right back with the warrior priest. Okay, so a couple of cool things about the warrior priest that I didn't realize. Uh, forgot that they gave hate to the unit, so uh, you could have made me rolling. Uh, I don't already Whatever. forget what we rolled, so we'll just continue with this yeah. uh, re rolling now, though. Uh, so your warrior priest has two attacks, it's two dice. And they'll be hitting me on fours. Shoot, and knock over a tree. Nothing. But they get to reroll because they have hate. Because they have hate. One so hit. One, mm -hmm. and then you'll be wounding me on three. Wound. Okay, and then I guess I have to roll a die. Yep. Because of my scaly skin, six plus. Nope, so that's another doggy. So then okay. we'll do combat res. Uh, I lost combat, but by how much? So I've got four, five dead mm -hmm. to your to my one dead. Mm -hmm. um, you've got at least three ranks. Can you put three dice beside my dead doges? Yep. I don't even have a full rank, mm -hmm. and you won't number me. And you have a standard, and you have no. You don't have a battle standard. Okay. All right, so uh, take one die away. Uh, so you've beat me by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I can even do the leadership test required because I think their leadership is seven. Their leadership is five. So unless I roll the double one, which I do not, they'll be running away. So we'll oh. be back with that. Okay, well, they ran pretty far. Mm -hmm. uh, Bri elected not to pursue. Um, so yeah, now, uh, they're there. I, um, I don't know if I like those dogs. They're not very, I must be doing something wrong. Maybe, maybe not. But that's my turn. So we'll be back with, uh, Empire turn one movement. All right. After thinking about it, Bree has decided not to declare any charges. So we'll just, uh, proceed with remaining moves and recap after that. All right. So for movement. The Outriders are trying to flank around to get some rifle shots on the back of one of my gore herds. Halberdiers and their handgunners have advanced. Those Halberdiers have advanced. Spearmen and the Swordsmen reformed, not caring or worrying about the Warhounds anymore. Archers shuffled to fire into the gore herd. And everything else stood stationary. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back with some, well, actually, we'll be back with a movement phase, or sorry, magic phase, because the priest does prayers in the magic phase. True. All right, the priest is going to pray. What prayer, huh? Unbending righteousness. All right. Uh, I think because it goes off as a bound spell, I could attempt to dispel it, but I'm not going to bother. Okay. I'm just going to assume that that doesn't make sense because it's a prayer. Yeah. All right. So we'll be back with some shooting. Turn one, Empire shooting stuff. We got to do some cannons. Yep. So, so what do you want to do with them? I'm going to attempt to shoot them directly forward into them. Not my best, of course. Okay. Yes. So what is your range guess for the first shot? I will guess 10 inches. Okay. So then you roll the artillery die and add that, and that's where it first lands. So 16 inches. You may have overshot. I might have, yep. So it'll clip the back rank. Yeah. So it'll clip the one guy in the back rank. There's no point in rolling to bounce because there's no one else behind it. So you just roll the wound. It's strength 10, uh, toughness. You, you wound on anything but one. All right, you kill a Bestigor. Yay. All right, you got a second cannon. What's your guess with them? This time I'm going to guess five because I'll probably end up... Watch, I got a one this time. Totally miss. You get a six. Okay. So so 11 inches 11. is where it'll land. No, you already did that one. Oh, it's yeah. that one. And you got to shoot this way, right? Yeah. Can't clip your own guys. So you're going to land right in the front rank. So mm -hmm. 
we know it's on the champion as the front guy. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and roll the die again to see how far it bounces. This one or the that one? The artillery die. Six. That actually should be enough, I think, to continue the clearing it. Yeah, so you'll get five hits now. Because there's five ranks. Alright, four more dead bestigors. Okay, what do you want to shoot next, huh? Uh, next, I'll do the archers into your forces here. Alright, so you got five guys that can shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, you have moved, and mm -hmm. I am in concealment, so you'll hit me on sixes. One, One hit. Uh, strength four to toughness. I don't actually know. Toughness four, so four is to wound. One wound. Uh, I have shields on that unit and mm -hmm. light armor, so saving on a five. So I'll lose the back eye. Okay. And then the last thing to shoot is that unit of uh, hand gutters. Now you've got ten guys in the front rank. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to shoot at this gore herd? Yes, please. All right, so I'm not within short range, I don't believe, because I think that's six. Uh, but I am in the open to you, so you'll just be hitting me on your ballistic skill of four. So hitting me on, sorry, of a ballistic skill of three, so hitting me on a four plus. There we go. Not bad, a couple of hits. About half, actually. Yeah, literally half, five hits. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then I think... Handguns. I didn't actually check the strength on those. I think they're strength four. They are strength four, but they have armor piercing. That's, I think, why I was thinking they were strength five. So, uh, four is to wound. Two wounds. Uh, they are strength four, so negative one. And armor piercing, so negative two, which negates my light armor and shields. So okay. I lose two. All right, not a bad shooting phase enough? No, not at all. All right, we'll be back with some close combat. If Oh, wait, no, there is no close there combat. There is none. Right. <laughs> we'll be back with Beastmen, turn, turn two. two. All right, so turn two, Beastmen, movement step. I got a bunch of charge to declare. So first, I am going to charge this gore herd mm -hmm. into that Halberdier regiment. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to hold, flee, or what? I will hold. Okay, I think... Do I declare all my charges and then you declare... Yeah, I think I declare all my charges. Sorry. So they'll charge there. Yep. This gore or bestigor regiment will charge those halberds. Yep. That bestigor or sorry, that gore regiment will attempt to charge the cannons. Okay. This gore herd will charge your handgunners here. Mm -hmm. And the chariot will charge your handgunners here. Fantastic. Okay. So charge responses. Now, this unit? Hold. Hold? Yep. This unit? Hold. Hold. Cannon? Um I'm probably outside of the charge range, so it doesn't hurt to hold. Yeah, I'll hold. And handgunners? Charge reaction to which one do you want to react to first? Because you can't. Re I don't think you can do a stand and shoot more than once. Yeah, I think I'll stand and shoot against the um. Were they best of gore? No, that's the best of gore. They're just gores. Gores. The gores. Okay. Yep. So, and then I'll hold against the chariot. Okay. So just to find out, uh, you can only stand and shoot against units that are outside of half their movement. So yes, I'm not within half, so you can stand and shoot there. And then you do have a detachment that can make a supporting fire on these guys if you wish. I do wish. Okay, so let's do that first. So five shots here, mm -hmm. hitting on fours, because you ignore any negative modifiers mm -hmm. for the supporting fire. So, so two, hits, two hits, and then wounding on fours, because strength is equal to my toughness. No wounds. Okay, and then over there, ten shots, but hitting on fives, because stand and shoot incurs a normal negative one. Okay. One, just two. Okay, wounding on fours. One. One wound. And then that kills a gore. So we'll now be back after my charge. Alright, so I uh, also forgot that I needed to rally the dogs. I rolled a six, which was just one enough to make them continue to flee. So, yes, off the table. So they're yeah, all gone. gone. Um, so then, charges uh, contacted in. So Gore is here. Gore's actually had enough with the terrain modifiers. I forgot the Gore's are five inch, uh, which was just enough. If they were only a four inch move, I wouldn't have had enough to actually succeed, successfully charge, but they did. Mm -hmm. Um... That charge and the chariot got off on the hand gunners, and then the remaining moves, the ungors here just kind of moved up to maximize the number of guys they can see, and the Bray Sherman, Sh Sherman, 
Sherman. He's a Sherman tank. Wrong game. The Sherman here has decided to continue advancing through the forest. Maybe his name is Sherman. Have you ever thought of that? Uh, sure. We should name that character. His name the is Sherman. The British shaman mutant thing is named Sherman. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Magic Fizz, uh, I'm not going to bother because his only spell that he can use right now, because the closest guys are within combat, is a shooting attack. and He doesn't have line of sight to anyone not in combat. So we're going to skip the magic phase, go straight to shooting phase. My Ungor Raiders here are going to attempt to shoot down at your Spearman. Okay. Uh, so short bows have a range of 18 inches. Definitely have range. Mm -hmm. uh, all but one guy, who has just died apparently. All but one guy has line of sight because of the edge of the cliff. And uh, Skirmishers can see through each other, I believe. So I'll just pick him back up. He's here. He's just really determined to pick a wildflower on the edge of the cliff. Sure. Yeah. We'll go with that. He wants to give it to um, Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> so Ballistic Steel was three, so normally hitting on four, hitting on five because of movement. Uh, actually, they don't have all of them have line of sight. I forgot about the tree template here. So one, two, three, four, five of them won't actually have line of sight. It's only four guys. Oh, that's a shame. I should have shot your uh, swordsman. Yeah. Okay, so four guys hitting on fives. No. All right, so we'll roll into some combat and be right back with that. All right, so we're going to do this combat first. I'm going to have all my... I'm not declaring any challenges. Bria's opposite also not declaring any challenges. I'm going to have all my attacks that can fight go into the unit. Mm -hmm. So all but one is going to be able to fight. So I'm going to take out one set of the attacks. These have additional hand weapons, so they all get plus one attack. And my throw wonder gets plus one attack. So I'm going to have... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 hits. Or 11 attacks. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I've already messed up. <laughs> yeah, 11. All right, I'm hitting you on their weapon skill 3. Yep. So I'm hitting you on 3s. I am then wounding you on 4s because my strength equals your toughness. One, two, three, four. That unit has light armor and shields. So, and you're in close combat. So your save is actually a four plus, I believe, because light armor is six, mm -hmm. shield is five, uh, close combat bonus for the shield is four. Okay. So you're gonna lose two guys. Yep. Okay, so we've got the two Kai shield is there. All right, so now uh, I'll do the rest. Uh, well, you know what, we'll do with each combat at a time. It's technically, I think it's supposed to be across the board, all my guys fight first, but we'll do it each combat at a time. What's so, confusing for us, personally? you got two less guys that can fight. So yeah. you've got your champion, who has two attacks, mm -hmm. and you've got one extra guy in the front, and then you've got your captain, who I believe has three attacks. But we'll double check that in a second. Okay. Alright, so captain with Sword of Sigismund strikes with plus one strength and always strikes first. I think chargers still strike before always strikes first. But that's okay. If not, let us know. So you got three attacks. Mm -hmm. Hitting at... What's his weapon skill? Um, five. So hitting at three. Three attacks, hitting on threes. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. And then his strength is normally three, so it'll be strength four. So winning on threes. One, mm -hmm. one wound. One wound. And then I have light armor? Question I mark. don't even have light armor. Interesting. I thought they had light armor. I'm sorry. I cheated with the uh, shots. <sighs> well, at least with your bowman. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I just lose a, a gore. Okay. Bye. All right, and then your unit champion and the halberdier, uh, they will strike and hit me on fours, I believe, because mm -hmm. weapon skill three against weapon skill four. One hit. One hit. And then their strength four, because I believe a halberd gives plus one strength. No. Okay. So we'll leave the casualties here mm -hmm. uh, and we'll do the next combat. Okay. So uh, I forgot to do my primal fury roll. So we just rolled them. They failed. They failed. Uh, they all got it. So they got hate and they have hate as well. Okay. Uh, for the duration of this combat. So, I'm going to do uh, the War Gore first, because they all have great weapons, but they are charging. So, the War Gore has three attacks, hitting on twos. Three hits, and then wounding on twos. So, one, two, three wounds at negative one. No, negative two, because great weapons get plus two, and his strength starts at four. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Boar Gore. He's strength four. He's got a great weapon, which adds plus two. And he's got the uh, Gore Tusks, which give him armor piercing. So his strength six with armor piercing, so it's negative four. So just straight up kills three guys. Okay. So one, two, three. All right, then the Bestigors. I have the Command Bestigor. Gets two attacks. And then three other Bestigors hitting on threes. Getting to re-roll because I hate. Still only getting three hits. And then wounding on two. So three more dead. Okay. So you won't actually get any attacks back. Right, because my whole front rank just died. Uh, except you are you do have a captain in the front rank, right? Because you've got the battle standard bearer. Right, okay. Forgot about him. So he definitely does get to attack because I'm only putting the attacks into the unit. So he's got three attacks. Uh, do you want to attack my war gore or my unit? War gore. Okay, so you'll be hitting me on fours. Two hits. Okay, and then you'll be wounding me on four or on fives. Two wounds. One, one wound. That's oh one. right, one wound. And then I'm pretty sure the war core had. I give him heavy armor, so four or five upset. So he's good. Okay. All right. Then over here, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six gores. Plus one for the command gore, and then I'll do the chariot. So they'll be hitting you on threes. Might as well roll over here. With a reroll for hate. And then strength four to toughness three is threes to wound. We'll reroll that one. Because it was cocked. Mm -hmm. So three wounds, and I think we found out they didn't have any armor. Correct. So three of the handgunners die. Okay. You can pull three off while I check the stats on the chariot. Okay, so the chariot has two crew members, a Bestigore and a Gore, and a Razor Gore ho holding it. The Razor Gore has four attacks Jeez. at weapon skill three, so hitting on fours. I don't think he benefits from rage, so they all miss. Okay. Uh, the Gore gets one attack, hitting you on three. That's cocked. That's still cocked. There we go. So it hits. Okay. And then strength three. So wounding you on fours. Nope. All right. And then the best of gore gets one attack, hitting you on threes. Wounding you on threes, because strength four. Four, one wound there. And so then one more, dead. one more dead. And I'm just going to double check. It has something called thunderous charge, which may indicate impact hits. And I didn't think to check that. Uh, so then you've got, you've lost one, two, three, four guys. You've got, you had 10 in the front ranks. So you've got six guys that can make attacks. Do you want to put them into the chariot or into the unit? They only have hand weapons. Let's put it into the unit. All right. So six dice hitting on fours. And then wounding on three or on fours. Two wounds. I have shields, so six up armor, becoming a five up armor in close combat. I'll lose two cores. Okay. One. Two. Yeah, we'll pull that up. I'll fix that in a second. Okay, so now we got to figure out combat results. Mm -hmm. So let's do this one first. So I killed two guys. Yep. You killed one. Yep. I have one, two, three full ranks. Mm -hmm. You have at least three full ranks. Mm hmm. We both have a standard. And you've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I outnumber you. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll take 5 away. So you've lost combat by 2. So what is your captain's leadership? Leadership eight. All right, so you need two d six, and you want to roll six or lower because nine is two, and you get a yeah. So they're good. Okay. okay. So over here, you got uh, you've killed none. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got three full ranks. You've got two full ranks. You have two banners. I only have one. One, two, three, four. So that'll just make, and uh, we might be no, I outnumber you. Yeah. So I'll only take away one. But you have the Imperial Banner, which, if I remember correctly, lets you ignore penalties. I believe so. So it's just your full leadership of eight, two d six. 
Oh yeah, they're good. Yep. All right. And then the hand gunners. Uh, you've killed two. I've mm -hmm. killed five. No four. Four. I have three full ranks. Mm -hmm. You have no full ranks. Mm -hmm. I definitely outnumber you. Yeah. So I won by one, two, three, four, five, six. So mm -hmm. what's the leadership on the hand gunners? Hand gunners leadership seven. All right. So you need to roll double ones. No. Nope, so they will run away. I will attempt to pursue with my chariot. Okay. So you roll 2d6 for your flea distance. And I'll roll 3d6. I will catch you. Mm -hmm. Yep, I will catch you. I'll cut you down. I'll we'll be right back after we figure out what else happens. Okay, so um, we probably did this wrong. We killed the handgunners. Uh, well, we broke the handgunners. Yeah. So they tried to flee. My chariot rolled just enough to run them down. But because they broke, within, and the detachment of swordsmen were within six inches, the swordsmen had to test, and they failed, so they mm -hmm. fleed, fleeing through the hand or the, or the spearmen and the archers. The spearmen were fine on their panic check for someone to fleeing through them. Uh, archers were not, so they ran towards the nearest board edge. And then my chariot just made its uh, moves directly forward with the pursuit distance. Um... I don't think they go anywhere, but let us know if we're wrong. I might be. Okay. Then the last thing I forgot we had to do was this cannon crew has to get eaten by gores. Uh, and they didn't get hate. And then threes to wound, which is enough to kill them. Right. So they'll die, and then I don't think I can move. Let me know. I, I can't really remember. <laughs> But we're just going to leave them there. Okay. And that'll be turn two. So on to the end of turn two with the Empire. Top the turn for the Empire, or top the round rather for the Empire. Uh, got to see if the uh, swordsmen and archers continue to run. Okay. So swordsmen. Yep. Leadership seven, four, five, six, seven. I think that's enough because it's equal or less than. So they, they can now get a free reform. Okay. And the archers. Five, six, seven. Same thing. Okay. So not terrible. We'll be back after some movement. All right, the Empire has elected not to charge, just trying to reform their line here. The Spearmen have pivoted on the spot to give them some options and present their frontage to the nearest enemies. Uh, the archers and uh, swordsmen reformed, and the outriders came around the flank to try and get some shots on the gores after that, if, if they're still not in combat at the end of the turn. All right, we'll be back with some magic. Combat. Oh, magic, yep. Actually, do you just want to decide what you want to make them unbreakable again? Because I yeah. forgot that they were unbreakable and they didn't even need to make a break test. Yeah. Okay, so they're unbreakable and we're going to try to remember the fact that they're unbreakable. <laughs> so that's your magic step. Shooting step. Yep. Uh, there's not a lot of shooting you can do. Um... You can technically, I think the only thing you'll be able to do is maybe shoot the cannon at the Ungors, because there's a little bit of a gap, but, but oh no, they're kind of blocked behind trees. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember if you can just pivot completely around and shoot. And I can't shoot. Hey, you know what? Families, we'll, so. just, we'll just say the characters were wrong, but I don't actually see why they couldn't just pivot on the spot and shoot, because it's not a movement. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, just want to reform. We'll see if we have a breath weapon template here, and we're right back. Okay, so we don't actually have one of the templates here at the moment, at least not a translucent one. Um, so we're just going to make do with the template that's in the big rule book. Mm -hmm. So we'll roll the strength of the shot, and then I'll put the camera down, find out how many possible hits there are, and then we'll be back with that. So D6, or sorry, the, uh, the artillery die, find out the strength of the shot. It's strength four. Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll be right back. Okay, so with a little bit of finagling with the copy of the book which we can't really see through but i'm pretty confident we've got at least four teams completely under the template mm -hmm. and five teams partially under the template mm -hmm. uh so five dice on a four plus to see if we hit them all five okay uh so nine total wounds strength four to toughness four is four is to wound three wounds all right that'll be three dead gores all right all right, we'll be back with combat. All right, so into combat. Captain fights first here, because he's mm -hmm. always fights first. So three attacks, hitting on threes. One hit. 
Okay, and then wounding on, I think it was threes. No wound. Okay, uh, and then we'll go into initiative step in this combat. So we're both tied, but I won combat last turn, so my guys will strike first. Uh, and actually, start of the combat. Oh no, it stays in place at the start of my next combat round, I think, for the Primal Fury. So they have hate. So seven attacks, because my front rank. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five attack. Five troops in combat, mm -hmm. one of which is a leader unit, and then they get an additional attack, because they have two hand weapons. So these are hitting on into the unit, hitting on threes with rerolls, if necessary, which apparently Everything not. Everything hits, apparently. And then strength four to toughness threes, threes to wound. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds. Um, actually, is that right? Am I strength four? No, I'm strength three. What am I doing? I'm cheating. <gasps> Only Cheater. two wounds, apparently. Uh, no negatives. So four up because of shields as well. Both save. We'll All right, now you get uh, one, two, three, four, five attacks back because of your champion in front rank, hitting on fours. Three hits. Okay, and then wounding on threes because your strength four. Two, two wounds. wounds uh, to which I'll just lose two gores. Not looking good for the beasties. All right, on to the best of gores here. Now, uh, you have a captain who strikes first, so three mm -hmm. attacks, hitting on threes. Okay. Uh, and then strength four to toughness, I believe four still, so winning on fours. One wound. One wound. I have heavy armor. I'll lose a best score. Okay. Then your unit is one, two, three, four, five attacks because you're command in the front rank. But don't you go first? I have you... always strikes last because I have great weapons. Aha. Uh -huh. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. The only reason I fought first last turn is because I charged. Yeah. So hitting on fours. One hit. And then strength four to two toughness. Hit, three. I believe they're toughness four still, so four is to wound. Because you get plus one strike from your halberds. Nope. Okay. So then my war gore, because he, well, I'll do him first. He's got his three attacks with hate, hitting on, on into the unit, hitting on threes. With the reroll, getting three wounds, or sorry, three hits. And then strength six, two, toughness three, one guy dead. And then five attacks from the champion and the front rank. Same thing, hitting on threes, and then wounding on twos. Four, four more dead. That is right. my whole front rank. Yeah, actually, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's combat, so then we can do combat resolution. So we'll do this one first. You've killed two, I've killed none. I have two full ranks, mm -hmm. you have three. I have a banner, so do you, and I think we're tied in, in strength now. So you have won combat by th one, two, by three. So now I make a leadership test, and I'm good. So three, so we'll stay locked in combat there. Over here, I've still got three full ranks. You've only got one full rank. I outnumber you, but you have two banners, and I have one banner. So you've got one, two, three, four, so you take away four of my dice, and I'll be beating you by one, two, three, four, five, six. But again, you don't suffer any negative modifiers, I believe, because of the Imperial Banner. Mm -hmm. I may be misremembering, I just haven't had a chance to check, and I don't really care right now. <laughs> so 2d6 on leadership uh, of eight. Okay. okay. And I think that's the turn. So yep. on to be spent turn three. All right, so top three. Gonna see if we can't finish the game here. Uh, I got my charges. <laughs> uh, I know, being kind of kind of ballsy. But uh, charges, I'm going to attempt a charge with this gore herd into your spearman. Okay. Razor back chariot into the swordsman. Okay. And they're going to attempt a flank charge into your halberds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, all my stuff's going to stand, I guess. All right. I will be back after that. Alright, so all my charges were successful, mm -hmm. um, and then in my remaining moves, I uh, forgot to actually move my Bray Shaman. Now he's moved. Uh, <laughs> the Ungors, they hopped down. I did a, a dangerous terrain test for the drop down there, and I lost three guys. The yep. rest moved into the, the wooded line there. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to bother again with magic. I don't have anyone to shoot at now, so we'll be back with some combat. 
All right, top of the combat round, Primal Fury tests, Leadership 7. Yep. Leadership 8 here. Yep. Leadership 7 on that Gore Herd. Oh, yep. Leadership 7 on the Chariots. Yep, just. And Leadership 7 on the Flank Chargers. No, they don't get it. All right, so everybody has hate but them. All right, so we'll do this combat first. My entire front rank is in combat, so seven attacks because of my uh, leader. I can't remember the champion's specific name. Uh, so hitting you on three rerolls. Getting an additional hit. And then wounding you on threes because strength four to... No, four on fours. Strength three to toughness four, but five wounds on your light armor of six. Okay, sorry, you said five wounds? Yep. So you save one and lose four. Okay. Two in the front rank and then six in the back rank. So eight attacks total. Hitting on fours. Uh, one hit. All right, and then wounding on four. That's yes. fine. I hadn't glued them in place yet. And then I get my five up for my shield in close combat. So I'll lose a gore. Okay. All right. So that's that one. And then the chariot, the uh, razor gore first. Four attacks. Getting hate, I hope. No. I think I said the razor gores don't get hate. No, they did. The only one that didn't was the... No, no. I I, I don't think the gore... Oh, like that, the gore. Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. think the piggies get it. Uh, so one hit and okay. strength is going to wound you on two because he's strength five going to strength six because that charge bonus so plus one which will be negative three so yeah it'll kill a guy okay and then i'll just do these guys separately both hitting on four and if they fail okay okay uh so then let's move on to you fighting back you've got four guys that can fight back yep you're hitting me on four i believe and then Two strength hits. four to my toughness. Four, so four is the wound. No. no. Okay. Let's go here next. Uh, your guys fight. Your captain fights first with his three attacks. Yep. Hitting on threes. Two, three hits. Three hits. And then wounding on strength three to toughness four. Or mm -hmm. Sorry, strength three to... Yeah, toughness four is four, four is the wound. Two wounds on my heavy armor. I'll lose a dude. Okay. And then you were front rank, so five attacks, hitting on fours. Oh my goodness. I have butterfingers today, sorry guys. Two hits, wounding on fives. No, wounding on fours because of halberd. Two wounds. Wounding on threes, sorry. So three wounds. Three wounds. And negative one. Oh. One, two. Three. That's not good. So that's my front rank. Yep. All right. So then my war gore will hit you back. And yeah, kill three. All right. So uh, I killed three, but because that's the unit filler of four guys, I put an extra guy back. So I've only killed three. three. I might as well just take that away and just put a die there to mark three. Yeah. Otherwise I'll get ourselves. confused. Yeah. All right. So then here, uh, my charging units, I've got one, two, three, four, five. They can attack. Mm -hmm. Plus one for the additional champion attack. These are hitting first because they charged. Yep. Uh, they do not have rerolls, which they really need right now. <laughs> two, three, Three wounds at negative one, so and you don't get shields because I'm in your flanks, so yep. just sixes. No. So three guys dead. Yep. Now your captain gets to fight. Yep. And he'll have to fight this unit. Yep. Three oh, hits. Three hits. And then strength four, two toughness four is winning on oh sorry, strength five because he got the plus strength. Two toughness four is winning on threes. Three wounds. At negative two will just kill me outright. Probably wasn't doing that right last time. Uh, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five in the front rank. I just lost three, so I got two, including the champions. Three attacks back on the unit with rerolls because they did get hate. That was a five. That, that was a five. That was a hit. Winning three is one wound at negative one. So five, uh, five up. 
No. Okay, so one more dead. All right, and that's combat. So now to combat res. So we'll do this combat first because it's the most complicated, yeah. and I'm not entirely sure what happens when you flee. So I'm in your flanks. So you don't get rank bonuses. No. I've in total killed four. You've killed three. Mm -hmm. You don't get rank bonuses. I just said that, but you do have a standard. Okay. And then I have three ranks in total. And I believe it's two plus because I'm in your rear. And I have two standards, but I think I only get one as the bonus. Mm -hmm. And I definitely outnumber you. Yeah. So I have one combat. Yeah. So I take away for sure. four. And I have one combat by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So roll double ones. All right. No, so those are the rolls I wanted before. <laughs> we'll just leave these here for now. Yeah. And we'll figure out the rest of the combat because I have to check the rule book to find out how that works. Yeah. Over here, you've killed four. I killed none. Mm -hmm. But I have two ranks. No, you killed three on that one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I killed three. You stole yes, the guy from there. I forgot. Accident. Yes. Don't mind me. You killed four. I killed three. Yeah. Uh, you have no complete ranks. I still have two complete ranks. You have two standards. I have one standard. And I outnumber you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I won combat by one, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter again because of the standard. So uh, leadership eight on 2d6. So they're still good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that combat over there, I killed four, you killed one. Mm -hmm. You've got three full ranks. I only have one full rank. We both have a standard. I char, or I outnumber, oh, no, you outnumber me. Mm-hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tie combat. Okay. Interesting results. Okay. All right, and then the chariot. So technically you won the combat, I think, because I only killed the one. Mm-hmm. I knocked a couple of them astray with some dice earlier. Yeah. Um, I forgot to check uh, to see. Bear with me here. Okay, and the chariot. So I just realized it has fear. So technically, when I declared the charge with it, you're supposed to do a fear test to see if you can stand and hold, I think. Mm -hmm. um, or fight at weapon skill one. Uh, we forgot to do that, but that's okay. I did technically lose the combat. But I'm fine, so we're going to stay in combat. Okay. All right, and that will be my turn for that. So we'll figure out this and be right back. Okay. Okay, so for this combat here... Um, I think it doesn't matter because if I, whichever unit I choose to pursue you with is the direction you're going to flee from. And either of them are face like front and rear. So if you flee, you're running into an enemy unit and you die. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pursue from this unit. Okay. So you'd roll 2d6 and I'd roll 2d6. So yeah, you just get wiped off the board. Okay. Uh, and then... I hit them, actually. So now you're in combat with them. But they need to make a panic test because they Oh, broke. right. They, yeah. I believe this is how this works. So 2d6, leadership 8, or uh, leadership 7. So yeah, they'd stand mm -hmm. and get contacted there. Um, not sure if that's how that works, but uh, we'll rule That's with how it. we're going to play it right now. Let us know down in the comments if we mess that up or on our Discord. Yeah, please do let us know. We barely get to play this, so we'd love some rules corrections. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back with Empire Turn 3. All right, on the back foot, the Empire State Captain Brianna has elected to continue the game to yep. see how much more damage she can put into the Beast Man. So yep. uh, we'll roll on with this turn. Uh, there are no charges to declare, so we'll just do, do some movement and be right back. All right, we're just going to pick this right back up. Uh, there was no movement to do, no magic. Nothing can shoot now because all the enemies are... Well, actually, you can do a cannon shot into them. I think it's just... You could clip the edge with the template if you wanted to do the scatter shot and hit, like, three guys, or do you want to try to shoot the cannon at them? Um, I'll try and shoot the cannon at them. All right, so the cannon rotates to fire. Guess your range. I'm going to guess two. Okay, I have roll the thing. artillery die. So six. six inches. Okay. So right in the second right here. Okay. Uh, and then roll again. And it bounces two more inches, so it'll hit three guys in total. So roll yep. three dice. 
and kill three beasts. Okay, so we'll be right back after that. All right, three dead gores. Not a bad shot. Mm -hmm. So we'll go into combat now. We're going to start with this one, Breeset. Uh, there are no charges this turn, so we'll just go here. So my guys are tied initiative with you, mm -hmm. uh, but I won combat last turn, so I'll... F I think that's how that works. Unless I was supposed to do a round of combat when I contacted them, which I might have been, but... It's fine. It's fine. We'll just do it now. Fine. So I've got four guys in contact, one of which is the champion. So five attacks. Hitting on threes. Three rolls because I still have hates. Wounding on threes. No, wound, yeah, wounding on threes. So wound, no, wounding on fours. Yes, because I'm strength three. So three wounds, which kill three guys because they had... Three wounds because it was on four. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yes. Sorry. All right, so two wounds. So I killed two guys because they have no armor. Mm-hmm. And you got four, uh, two guys back now that can fight because I uh, killed two guys in the front rank. And Three that guys that can fight. There's five people. He's not in contact because oh, okay. he's too far out. So, Th uh, so four guys were in front. So I yep. killed two. So only two yep. can fight. So only two can fight. Yep. All right. Cool. One hit. Nope. Two hits. Sorry. Wounding on fours. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So that's done there. So this one here, your captain with three attacks. Hitting on threes. Three hits. And wounding on fours. Four wounds. Oof. Squish. How? You only had three attacks. How do you have four wounds? Sorry, three wounds. <laughs> yep. Wow. Uh, I'll save one. Okay. Two. Okay. And then four, one, two, three, four, five attacks from the front rank as the champion. Uh, weapon skill now. three to weapon skill four is three hits. Uh, no, sorry, you're hitting on four, so two hits. Two hits. And then strength five to toughness four is three to wound. Two wounds. Okay, and then negative two with heavy armor. Two more dead guys. That's my front rank again. I must have been doing that wrong the first two turns, or you just weren't hitting anybody. So my war gore with his three attacks and hatred doesn't need it. Wounding on twos. Typical. Two guys dead. Okay. Okay, and then the spear unit. Yeah. So, uh, I think you won combat last turn, I so now you me. fight first. That's you got 12 attacks, because your front two ranks can fight. These will be hitting on so weapon skill three. Two weapon skill four is four is to hit. One. Literally only two has two nice. wounds. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have made them unbreakable, but gone for the rerolls. Mm, yeah, probably. All right, and then strength three to toughness four is four is to wound. One wound. And I've got a shield, so six, becoming five because I'm in close combat. So I'll lose a gore. Mm -hmm. do. And then I've got five guys now in the front ring that can fight, plus one extra attack for the champion. Hitting you on threes because weapon skill four to weapon skill three. Uh, and they had rerolls last turn? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure they got the problem. Yeah, the only ones that didn't work. That yeah. unit. Oh, and the chariot. So they're good. All of them hit. And then strength three to toughness three is forced to wound. Four wounds. Uh, light armor six up. Nope. Four dead. All right. So, I won combat, but you don't need to make a test because you're unbreakable, so you can just take those straight off. Okay. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, keep doing that. And then the chariot. Yeah. So, the chariot is initiative. What's your swordsman initiative? Uh, initiative four. Oh, your swordsman fight before my chariot. Okay. So, you've got three swordsmen, four swordsmen in front in contact. Weapon skill is four to my weapon skill of four, so four is to hit. Three, three hits. hits. My strength or your strength three against my toughness of four, so f I believe that's still four is to wound. One, One wound. wound. And I have a Bestigor, so heavy armor? I don't actually know what the armor rating is.
total armor save of four plus. All right, one wound, right? Yep. So armor save is four plus. I'll take a wound. Okay, I'll just count up because I don't want to check right now how many I have left. All right. Uh, so then I get to fight back. Mm -hmm. I have. Oh, I forgot to remove him from last turn. Apparently, he's got three wounds left. Okay. I have the Tuscores. They have four attacks. And they are weapon skill three, so force to hit, which means I actually get, yeah, three hits. Strength five to toughness three is three still wound. It is strength five, right? Sorry, there's strength four, but still three to wound. So two wounds at negative one, so light armor and shield in close combat is a four plus or a five plus, so you lose a guy. And the gore in the best of gore. I'll do the gore in gray. They will both be hitting on fours. So the gore hits. The gore is strength three to your toughness three. So threes are forced to wound, so no wound. Uh, so you say delta wound. I took a wound. So I lost combat by one. And we're good. Okay. I also forgot that they had fear and you were supposed to test again. Whoops. So. All right, so that's uh, end of Empire turn three. Uh, so then we just have to figure out the rest of the combat results, actually. Yep. All right, so over here, uh, I've lost four guys. You've lost two, so we're currently four to two for you. I still have a full rank, so four to three. And a banner, so four to four. You have two banners, so back to six to four. I outnumber you five to four, so you win by one. Okay. And you run away. Yes, I do, apparently. How far are you running? Uh, do you wish to pursue? Um. Yeah. Okay. So I believe I rolled two d six because my wound is five. Mm -hmm. Seven, and then you roll two d six because your wound is four. So you do not contact me, and I get away. All right, and then, uh, so actually you do contact me because when I re retreated, I had to move through some of the woodland and uh, yeah, I didn't go far enough and you were able to contact. So you wipe out the unit. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna hurt. So then the last thing to do is figure out this. Uh, these are not my casualties from here. <laughs> I am winning currently by two because you didn't deal any casualties. Yep. I have two full ranks, a banner, and I outnumber you. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you need to roll double ones to stay in combat. Double no twos? No. So yeah. you flee. I will elect not to pursue, which I will. So then you flee directly into an enemy and get wiped out. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do a free combat reform after I've restrained my pursuit, and we'll be right back. All right. Well, here we are at the end of turn three. Uh, the Empire has been badly mauled to be fair the beastmen have been somewhat badly mauled uh i still got a big block of spearmen but uh brie is electing to concede at this point just down to the fact that her best combat troops are no longer in good positions uh they're stuck fighting a fear causing enemy that we keep forgetting to actually roll <laughs> to see if he causes fear mm -hmm. uh but chances are they fail their leadership and be afraid now um, and yeah, they're going to reform and then potentially get a flank charge on them, wipe them out, could deal with them, but, uh, we'll call it there and be back with a recap. Okay. Well, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I know that's kind of, no one really enjoys watching a conceded match, but, uh, I would, I would say that it's probably a foregone conclusion. Yeah. Uh, and both of us are pretty tired and run down, so... And, and our kid is baby, losing his mind again. upstairs. Yeah, it is the way, unfortunately. Uh, but that was our first narrative fantasy game here set in the forests of the old world with the Beastmen versus the Empire. Um, we hope you enjoyed the scenario with the ambush, and if you would like, we can do a little write-up in our Discord if you want to try it out yourself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, what do you think? I think that was a lot of fun. I really love the narrative story. It just made a lot of sense. I think my, my empire forces are marching from one town to another, um, get to the very edge of town, and then get swarmed by beastmen. Yep. That was just really, really cool. It made it really challenging for me. I had to figure out 
how do I split my my ranks to be able to cover all sides? And as you can see, it didn't work very well. Yeah. So it was it was really really interesting to to see play out. Yeah. So uh, I liked it because I got to ambush you. Uh, the beast band didn't perform as well as I'd hoped, unfortunately, with some bad dice rolling on my part. Uh, but I, I don't know. I think it went pretty well. It was pretty thematic with that uh, the way it was set up there. And yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check us out on our social medias. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to enjoy our content more. And uh, yeah, we're pulling for you. So keep sticks on you guys. Take care, you guys.